This afternoon, we want to warn you. Some viewers may find the details of this story very disturbing. Police say an 18 year old high school student who had plans to carry out a school shooting in Montgomery County is behind bars. Yeah, police say that he wrote a 129 page manifesto laying out his plans. Yeah, DC News Now's Randy Bass is live from Wooten High School. The school police say he targeted and Randy, you got a hold of the court documents in this case. What more can you tell us about his alleged plans for this really scary situation? Yes, and again, some viewers may find these details to be disturbing and upsetting. Officers say 18 year old Alex Ye had been on their radar since early March after someone tipped them off to the manifesto he'd been working on, what he called his memoir or his book. As I walk through the hallways, I cherry pick the classrooms that are the easiest targets. Those chilling words written in Alex Ye's 129 page manifesto. Words police say laid his plans for a school shooting at Wooten High School. Ye, whom students say is transgender, claims the book is a work of fiction. He also went on to write, quote, I have also considered shooting up my former elementary school because little kids make easier targets, end quote. Court documents point to a pattern of homicidal and suicidal ideation over the last year and a half. Ye had been in and out of institutions and hospitals receiving mental health care. In his writings, police say he wrote about how it would bring him great satisfaction and joy to kill. As early as 2022, he allegedly told counselors at Wooten High School of his plans to, quote, shoot up the school. James Chen is a senior. He says he had class with the accused when they went by the name Andrea. I, I never really knew her, but like, it seemed like to me, like it seemed to her like she was just a quiet person and a nice person. I, it was really unexpected. A Wooten freshman we talked to today said she was in sixth period when she heard the news. I was in shock. I did not know what to say because when you hear about these things going around at schools, you never expect it to actually happen to you. Other neighbors feeling relieved, but still on edge. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just glad they got him. Nobody's safe. It's very, very sad. Yeah, those police uh, documents go on to reveal that officers tried to get in touch with Ye, tried to talk with him while he was receiving mental health care at Suburban Hospital about a month ago. He declined to speak with officers at that time. Police, though, are planning to hold an additional press conference tomorrow to put forth more details in the case. We'll continue to follow the story as it develops. For now, though, live in Rockville, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now.